Jigata Toshizo. As you can see, there is this nice statue dedicated to him. And we are at Takahata Fudosong, gorgeous temple in Hino. And I took you here maybe last year to admire the hydrangeas. And at that time we didn't talk anything about history. But he is um, one of uh, really very admired figures in Japan's history. He was uh, the second leader of Shinsengumi and was fighting against the imperial restoration over Japan, so against the Meiji restoration. And he fought till he passed away, and uh, which was really young. I think he passed away at 35 years old. And so this temple was his family's, uh, where his family was coming to pray. And actually his house is still preserved here in Hino city. And he's so admired by um, Japanese people as well as uh, people from all over the world, especially because of um, anime and manga where he is presented as hero, that there is actually a Matsuri here on May uh, 11th, where many swordsmen come and make demonstration of their swords. So he joined the swords mastery of Tennen Rishin Ryu, which is some very special um, cool swords fight and he passed away in uh, Hokkaido killed by a stray bullet during a battle which is really sad and let me show you around how free it is these days and by the way he's partner from childhood was Kondo Isami and is also featured in our movie and so the people who love the history of Japan um, come and visit this place and it's so beautiful in just about a few weeks it will be full of hydrangeas. You can already see that the hydrangeas are starting to bloom. And just like all such uh, temples, you will <laughs> pick a sprout like this. Fortune, your future. And if it's not so good, then put it here and hope the gods to take the bad thing. Team is filming here right now, somewhere, and I have to do my best not to get in their camera. Which I don't know where they are, but already you can see the beautiful. so peaceful because uh, not high season right now and so um, the fit is going to come out this year an amazing international production I also have this great cameraman who came all the way uh, from Moscow to film it and it really looks uh, nothing less than Hollywood. So, here is the um, commemoration of Hijikata Toshizo. This on his face. And here. Mortuary plate. Okay, let's go over this side.
So we filmed a large part of the movie right there uh, on the grounds of the temple in his house. So although our movie is a fantasy, but it has uh, elements of truth. And after he passed away, his katana was brought back to here and actually it is here in his uh, house museum so you could actually see his katana Okay, let's go upstairs. I hope I'm not gonna bump into my filming team. Also good because now I found here a shop where I can show you um, how he looked. Where I can show you um, how he looked. So this here are his colors. This blue. Um, you can see here. This is how he looked. So our main actor actually really looks kind of like him which is so special and this blue and white are uh, the costume colors of the people when they come here <laughs> so she's angry <saying> me <laughs> when they come here the, for the festival they would buy this costume the fans and everybody wears this so it's great that I could show this to you so that you see how popular uh, Hijikata Toshizo is and f our movie is a fantasy movie <laughs> um, which will bring a new spin to the story so I will let you go um, to avoid bumping into my filming team and so see you at some other time with the last glimpse of Hichikata Toshizo, our hero.